Alrighty, friend arenas, welcome back to the Dirty Plane for some five strikers. Alright, friends, so, what Dirty gonna do is. So, we're going to be finally storming the castle, as it were, for real Z reels this time. And, uh, I feel like we've got items and things. <laughs> One thing I feel. Actually, wait, do I need to do bond stuff? No, I did bond stuff last time, yes, okay. I wanna make sure of that. I wanted to make sure of that. So, it said prepare, but what exactly would we perhaps need to prepare? Well, let's, let's probably at least cook knowledge, right? I love the environment here, just looking at it. It's fun time. Local supermarket. Well, hello. Give me ingredients. So what you're getting? Thank you very much. Thank you. One more thing I will do is I will do persona things, just in case. Oh, I'm Welcome. here. Hello, Lavenza. I will indeed go this way as you have Hello, so Mr. implored me. Hello, Levenza. This is an Archangel with Amber. I didn't... How did I do that? Awesome! <laughs> I didn't try, but hey, I got the first one. Okay, I'll try to start getting the second one and uh, end up out of the way. But I bet there's going to be a lot more going to... It was probably like... um, Because in Persona 5 itself, I remember that... The first one, you can just level it up. That must be what happened, right? You just level up the persona, and they will get the skill. But from all, from then on, you'll have to do other stuff, like skill cards and stuff. And I'm not sure how skill cards and stuff work in this game, because I don't really want to figure it out, but I probably will eventually. I might tackle this on camera. Maybe not in this playthrough. Maybe in the future at some point I'll revisit this game and do that, but yeah. You have indeed brought me the specified persona. The task is complete, then. The power of persona within you is still limited. For now, at least. However, through the art of fusions, you will surely draw out the strength you once had. I will always be here, waiting for you. Until next time, right. farewell. I kill all that. Uh, all right, so performing a fusion. Yes, indeed. Piasca is Pisaka is it unregistered. I always want to call color. this persona. Oh, yeah, I forgot how freaky looking it is. Pisaka. I always want to call it Piasca. I remember that, and I just did it again at first. I don't know why I do that, but anyway, let's go ahead and choose an item. Skill to inherit. Let's see here. Oh yeah, in order to just have damage and AOE. Um, with curse, I will go ahead and do my ha. Let's be honest, I'm tempted to do Garo and Agi, and then just go ahead and just continue with no on and no Morgana because of that. And just, you know, Koto, Haru, and Yusuke probably, just because, gosh darn it, I just want to. Yeah, please do, and I, this is awesome. If this is the thing in Persona 6, please let it be, because god fuck. This needs to be a thing in all Persona games, because, yeah, uh, I'm sure every Persona player has realized, oh shit, I had a better version of that, and then I fused it away without without registering it to the goddamn compendium, right? Whenever you're trying to go grab it again, but you ended up grabbing a weaker version that doesn't have the skills you wanted because the skills that you saved it for, or you were gonna save it for, that you, like, you wanted to transfer to something because, yeah oops and forgot to save it so because of that this needs to be more of a thing and in every future persona game please thank you please do is this the persona you'd like absolutely be born anew i really like this particular cutscene for the fusion it's just cool and it's not as overly gruesome although i i know that they get pressed into freaking iron maidens but i don't know it's just it closes on them and you don't hear anything or anything or, you know, see anything because it's, you know, because it just closes on them. Uh, you can't see what's going on inside. They're so buttery things. There's never any bug with these, but, you know. And then, you know, like, the eyes lighting up is cool. I like it. All right. I'm Pisaka. You look kind of, kind of delicious. Oh, God, please don't eat me with that giant mouth that, like, it takes up, like, your entire torso. Please, oh, God. Not even, like, absolutely 100% your entire torso. You look kind of delicious, but I guess I can pass on eating you since I'm your new mask and all. Thank God, thank you. Alright, uh, now I can make Lilim all of a sudden. And it's odd to me that I can make Amino Uzume for free. Why? Hmm. Okay, so what, what, are, what are these yen values? Why are they there and why does this not have it? Hmm. Um, for 
for summoning the personas that would be needed, right? Okay, that's probably it. Right? It seems that it can gain new Let's see, power. um, Orthrus and Pisaka, I had a feeling I'd have to use that Pisaka. Mabufula. Hmm. See, this way, I can have a team of Makoto, Haru, and... Who else? Ryuji. Without having to worry about... Because if I put... Wait, hold on. If I put Garu, Agi... Well, okay. This is too tempting. It's weak to wind and light, though, so I have to be careful about Choose that. Which... Um, Frey. No, I'm not putting Frey on there because I will... Oh, yeah, um... Yeah, Mudo, yeah. Uh, Maeha, Garu... Oh, shit, where's the fire? Frankly, like, because the personas clearly aren't as important in this game, because you can kind of button mash your way through the kinds of stuff you'd have to really think about in the original, you know. You're... I, I would say you're encouraged not to, but it's more like if you want to, the option is there, and it becomes, you know, a more rewarding experience in a way if you actually use the game's mechanics Please, uh, in that time. way, but you never have to in these kind of beat-em-up games. Uh, these action, these just, you know, button mashy action again. Uh, Orthrus and Lamia. You know, I'll keep, I'll keep Piasca then. I'll keep him. It. It seems that it can gain new power. And let's do Amina Uzume. I've always liked her design. She's very interesting. The circles and the, uh, the mystique and the mysteriousness, like, you know, the fact that that fan is covering her eyes and she's all floaty and she's got the cape. She's very cool looking. I like her a lot. She's kind of hot. Listen, mysterious ladies. Mm, yes, what? Yeah. Choose which skill to inherit. Uh, oh my god. Uh, it's like it's, it's goading, you know what? Just in case. You know what I mean? Just in case I decide, okay, I, I should not have Makoto around um, for this time. Or I, I, I frankly, I, I should be using more people more. But also, I can just double up with Makoto, right? Like if she's running out of SP or something. Or yeah, having coverage on your guy, even if you have peeps, is on your um, on your protagonist, even if you have peeps with the element, does tend to be a good thing. So I'll at least use it for that. And I guess having a good physical is also nice. If his damage, I'm flipping fear. Hmm. Double fangs. Medium chance of critical. Brain shake, brainwash. Yeah, let's just do double fangs. Killing things, Fiester. Because, again, in this game, it, it really has been clear so far. You don't have to really worry about that stuff the same way you would in 5. I'm that, you know, it might bite my eye, might bite my ass later, but for the moment, I've been kind of having a cakewalk in this game by ignoring a lot of the mechanics, and I don't really mean to ignore a lot of the mechanics like this. It just ends up happening that way. Would you like to register these personas into current states for infusion? Yes. Is this? Always. I'm sure. Now, let us begin. I am Amano Uzume, I shall be in the face, now come let us rejoice in the melody that draws forth true might. Indeed. It seems that it can gain I, new power. I'm too tempted, although I just made a lot of coverage. I'm about to probably Choose lose that to a degree, but I'm absolutely gonna... Yeah, okay, here we go. Garu Agi. I can't have that curse, though. I think I'm gonna re-summon... We'll see, someone. Just make sure, like, I have curse coverage. Uh, this way, you know what I'm gonna do is... Well, I could just life drain. Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna put life drain there. I'm gonna go in with, probably, Yusuke Makoto and Ryuji. I'm sure. Be born anew. Principality. Order and discipline come for anything else. Take my mask and let's defend our honor together. Heck ye. I wonder why the level requirement for fusion personas is a thing, because that was that was not a thing before, was it? I'm pretty sure that is not a thing in 5 itself. What is with the the list? It's very confusing. Seems that it can gain new power. I think yeah, I will go ahead and lil him. Cause it's it's not hold on. 
Yeah, we're supposed to it be seems asking. That it can gain... I'm sure. Choose which sk uh, yeah, there's, okay, yeah. Ma'aiha. Um, Frey, this, you know, let's make sure we just have coverage on our dude. Our dude friend. Um, our, uh, our joker. Our protag friend. And let's, let's do Tarakaja, actually. In order to sort of strengthen whoever is going after the weakness. Yeah. Is this the persona you'd like? I'm not sure. Be born anew. Now that is all I will do here then. Returning already? Yep. May luck be on your side. Return Durgan go. Yas he do. Uh, before we go and um, <laughs> yeah. do the stow things and then go straight there, um, well, cook things, do stow things, go straight there as well. Too. Unless I don't, I'm not able to cook things. In which case, just doing uh, Sophia's shop and then going straight to to Sendai Jail. Um, but let's uh, look and see what we got the cripple and what if. Make sure we don't have better stuff to equip. Let's really look at all these. So we've got a keychain that gives us... We've got something that gives us 20 plus 20 SP. Chazu Kemaru Charm? Let me know if I pronounced that right. Y'all that might be well... Y'all that are probably well versed or in Japanese than I be. Power Anklet, Strength plus 1, Yen plus 1. So Strength is your physical attack, or... Actually, okay, hold on. Alright, so I've got... A list on the Shipping Army Tensei Wiki of what they do in the game. I'm not sure how they found this out quite. I think it's buried in the tutorial somewhere, I don't know. But yeah. I'm gonna do my best to memorize them. Um, so yeah. Strength, what that does is uh, dam uh, increases your damage to regular attacks and physical skills. I, I thought so, but I wanted to make sure. And uh, yeah, endurance, yeah, endurance, enduring, it makes sense. It's uh, defense against outside attacks, whether regular, physical, or magic. Agility affects critical rate and uses evasion against enemy attacks. Luck uh, affects your critical evasion and ailment infliction rate. So I have that pulled up in the other tab to decide what stat stuff I might want to put on my characters, maybe. Because I'm going to go through all of these and see if like I want to change up what they we've got on people. And perhaps also just adds that, you know, put, um, equip someone with anything. And I have to think about why I might want to increase stats on a certain character. Like, maybe if they're they're more of a physical one, like with Yuji or... But frankly, honestly, whoever I'm going to be just, like, destroying things with the most, it would make sense to put a lot of strength on, because I'm going to be physical attacking my butt off, regardless. Hmm. So I probably will end up putting that on Makoto, maybe. The strength one. We'll see. Power Perseverance. Is it still if Joker... No, yeah, it's not. If Joker dies, it's not... Okay, so I would have immediately put this on Joker, but that's Persona 5 mentality. And other Persona game mentality. But Joker does not... Joker death does not equal game over in this one, so... Not. Not in that. Not in that case. Maybe one... Someone that seems squishier, I'll put that on. We'll see. Let's see. Uh, alluring sticker. Okay, so... ST gauge rate up. I... Okay, that makes sense. ST Showtime. It makes the Showtime gauge go f up faster. So you can do more Showtimes. But frankly, we have so many Showtimes. We like, it happens so often anyway. Like, just how I have it that I don't really see a reason to make that a thing. So, oh wait, hold on. I don't know how I ended up actually going right back to the, the clothes instead of the accessories. Okay, so in a candle cutter, critical up bow. Hip glasses, and that's just, okay, okay, that's where we start to get into that, all right. Do I want, yeah, I'm gonna keep, I'm gonna keep him with the SP, because, yeah. Using skills on Joker is going to be, I mean, it's, I'm sure for most people it's a huge crux of strategy, but for me, probably more than others, but that's mostly in, like, 5 itself, but also, of course, you know, in this game to a degree as well, especially because I made sure he had elemental covers like I always do uh, in both these games. But anyway, 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 right. uh, travel games set, EN, so endurance, okay, so, okay, let's be honest here, am I going to be putting, yeah, I I've decided I'm going to be putting Ryuji in my party this time, so, yeah, it's going to be Ryuji, Yusuke, especially because this is his dungeon, basically. And Makoto. 
Always Makoto. Never not Makoto. I've decided. I mean, I know I've decided that over and over again in both this and five, but you know, it's very important, so I'm deciding it once more. So critical up. Let's T gauge rate up. Hmm. Well, yeah, the travel game set, I'll have to th I'll have to keep that in mind that that has a nice EN plus two, so that's like, for squishy characters, that's better. That's a good thing to have. Critical. You know what? Consider he also bought this candle cutter himself. I remember that. I will go ahead, I think, and, uh, at least I think that's what, what it was. Unless it was, like, loot from Sendai Dungeon. Actually, wait. Yeah, and yeah, I will make sure of this. I'll, like, making sure I know what I have. So I can buy accessories. I think I will go ahead and see what what accessories I can buy that might be better. Because I just haven't been caring about the accessories that I want to, so. So he has a nice crit rate up. Uh, and I'll just care about, because I've decided my party's going to be Ryuji, Yusuke, and Makoto. So, by the way, make 100% sure that we've got the best stuff as far as stats of the weapon and protector go. Strength. Ian, Ian. Hmm. So, you know what? His ability to do all the best cool moves more in this dungeon, you know, have some really flashy moments in this dungeon. Yeah, it makes sense. Thematic sense. That's why I'll do that. As for Makoto, I've been using her so much in combat that I think I already know that I want her to have strength. Also, if I have a better strength item, it, like, there's one in the shop, I will definitely buy that. Yeah, there we go. All right, hold on. But first... Is her stuff better? Yes. Also, I can sell all the rest of the stuff. You know, the uh, equipment that isn't that isn't uh, equipped on people. Uh, if I can, I'm not sure if like there's a selling. I'm pretty sure you can sell this game. But, uh, actually, yeah, you can definitely sell in that place, right? Anyway, let's go there. Foist order, oh busyness. Get to work. Hide out. Yeah. What's on the menu? Yeah. Are you gonna cook? Coffee. No. Wait, okay, yeah. Uh, they're out of beans. I guess I made coffee earlier today. Good idea. Been, right? But yeah, curry for show. Always make SP items out the butt. That's what I learned from Persona 5. Uh, well done. Can I make anything else? Nope. Alright. So this way, I'm gonna go ahead and just go nest with SP. I always do that, you know. And uh, I should have the SP items to back it up, because, yeah. Um, it's really just a holdover from Persona 5, and it's probably not as viable as, you know, with 5 Royal itself, but, you know, oh well. Explore the jail! Wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. I felt like I was gonna do something first. Oh yeah, duh, shopping. This should be but helpful. foist, gun sell, all the stuff that isn't equipped, and of course all of these. Are you sure? Yeah, I'm pretty sure it will not show you the stuff that's equipped, sure? so... I feel sure? like this system could Are definitely sure? be made more convenient, but oh well. Are you sure? It looks really nice, sure? and feels really Are nice, sure? and sounds really nice, Are you sure? I feel like it could be a little bit more convenient. Everything is sold that isn't equipped. I was gonna buy better accessories if possible. Uh, let's see. Anyone for me? Let's look at all the options, Voiced. Reduce fire damage low, reduce ice damage low, elect damage low, wind damage low. Nuke damage low, side damage, bless damage, curse damage. Reduce fizz damage. Okay, it's literally just protect protection from elements, which hmm. I'm more liable to be on the offensive. I'm not gonna buy these. Who's it for? I'm hoping that doesn't bite me in the butt. I could cover people's weaknesses with that, but I haven't felt- I haven't seen a need for it. I might go back here and buy those if I get pwned in there, but- or at the very least, hmm. Hmm. Well, I have a lot of good HP stuff, too. Or I should. Actually, do I? This is the boss, but let's let's be honest. Sendai's been a joke so far, so I I'm probably going into the boss cockily. We'll see what it's like before we decide what we're gonna do here. I'm really hyped to see what the boss is gonna be like. It's gonna be a really hype moment with awesome music because that's what the first one was, and they Atlas definitely knows to deliver how to deliver on that front always. So I'm gonna go ahead and buy HP items and stuff, the best ones possible. How many would you like? As many quick fixies as possible, which is only one apparently. Are there better weapons here? I don't think so. You know what? I'm not even gonna look at at protectors even though I, I am really quickly. Yeah, no, I didn't think so. We've got we've got that. So let's see what happens. Actually, wait. Here's what I found. Uh, is there any request to complete here? Yeah, there we go. Good job. Yeah, I, wait. 
she says a good job just like Do Jose does. Hmm. I wonder if there's any correlation there. I would not put that past Atlas. Although I don't really know what Jose's deal is, because I never... I haven't finished Royal yet, but yeah. And, and both of them. Nice. And, uh, and, uh, reporting things feels real good. Okay. Discuss, right? All right, we've reached the birdcage of the Sendai Jail. Next up's the trauma room. So yeah, I've noticed that this, you know, the psychological aspect of this game, it's really heavily focusing on uncovering past traumas in order to move forward, which I, I, I know is a very, 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 very well-grounded psychological, you know, thing and um, a method that definitely gets a lot of results for people. Um, I just find it interesting that they're formulating the game this way. I always find it really interesting how they do per Persona games because of the psychological assets behind them and what everything means and that kind of a thing. I really always find myself fascinated by that. We heard the voices of the editors and found out that the place is called Gatore Coffee. I'm, I'm sure it's somewhere in Sendai, but I wonder if we'll be able to get inside like we did in Shippuya. Hopefully. Now, um... What's funny is I went into the Sendai jail before I came here. Uh, I, I forgot that, that we needed to do this first because I haven't played this game in like a week. <laughs> anyway, moving on. I'm sure we will be okay. We should be able to enter the trauma room if we use the keyword at the specified location. Hmm. Trauma room, huh? Sounds kind of lame. I'll try to think of something better. <laughs> Back in Shibuya, there was that warden-like creature, but it is it possible there's one here as well? Maybe. We might have a fight on our hands. Make sure you guys are ready. Alright, let's load up and check this place out. Heck ye. Go to a destination. There we go. Okay, that's how that works. Whenever we have... Whenever we get to a palace and get to the lock, we need to do the trauma room stuff first. We're on the hunt for a Gatore coffee. First, let's find out how many are in the area. Gatore coffee. Got it. There's only one that's close to Sendai Station. Convenient. And also, if Katora is, is anything like Starbucks, that's a miracle that there's only one. <laughs> close to it, like, such a busy area. Whoa, that was fast. I know, right? It's a bit of a walk, but I'll be happy to guide you to the destination. You're amazing, Sophia. Yeah. It's like you were made to be a navigator. I mean, yeah, definitely. She was at least partly made for that. There's no question of that. <sighs> Being the navigator's my job. Futaba hug. It also used to be Morgana's job, didn't it? Yeah, it did. You're adorable. That's... I'm really tempted. You're amazing too, Futaba. It's simply a question of having the right person for the right job. Fear not, Futaba. There are plenty of things only you can do. Indeed, like all the hacking stuff, for sure. Huh, I guess that's true. Nobody else can act like a weirdo quite like you do, you know? I love the back and forth between them so much. I'm starting to ship them out of, like, a weird, like, love-hate relationship, like, thing. I just feel like that would fit them so well. Who are you calling a weirdo? <laughs> Alright, guess we'll just head over to the cafe then, yeah? Yeah, let's get going. Okay, I got it. A da da do da do This is it. Gatori Coffee. I can smell the coffee. Seems to be just an ordinary cafe. Are we sure we have the right place? We'll just have to put in the keyword and see. All right, let's make it happen. The trauma cell's calling our names. Trauma cell? She's trying new names. <laughs> it's just a name I came up with. Trauma room sounds like some kind of cheesy hospital drama. <laughs> Wait a fucking minute. Is this a Trauma Center reference? You know, another Atlas game? Another Atlas franchise? I'm onto you, Atlas. I- I- there's no fucking way that's not a reference, right? Although she- although, considering she's, like, directly referenced some names, at least in a way, not completely 100%, but, yeah. Sound logic. Seems fitting. Seems fitting, especially because the jails. Cell jail. Call it whatever you want. We gotta roll. The key to opening that birdcage has got to be here somewhere. Do you remember the keyword? Of course. It's Prince of Nightmares. It's J. 
just like what happened in Shibuya. This is where Natsume's trauma comes from. What could have happened to him, I wonder? Shh. Someone's up ahead. Uh, are you sure about this? Awarding him the grand prize for that? Ongo Natsume. <laughs> the kid's entered every contest, but he's never made it past the first stage. He's as stubborn as he is incompetent. What's more, his writing is so painfully generic, it only becomes more obvious when you compare it to the other candidates. What? That voice. Is it Natsume? It can't be. He acknowledged my work. It's fine. He's the great Sogo Natsume's grandson, remember? Grand Though a certain Oops. someone seems to think he's actually worth a damn. Words, words, words. Uh, um, hold on. I was... Log! Log, that's what I needed. Brand recognition is a huge part of marketability. Nobody gives a rat's ass about what's beyond the cover. <sighs> that fucking attitude scares me because it's so pervasive in media. It's like if you become enough of a business person in entertainment, you forget that the point is to make good shit that people enjoy, damn it. I will never get to that point, I promise you guys. Though a certain someone seems to think he's actually worth a damn. Poor kid can't even see just how hopeless he really is. <laughs> Seriously, it's pathetic. <laughs> Fuck these guys. Oh, I'm trying as hard as I can. No skin off my nose. So long as he keeps raking it in. We hit the jackpot with that one. And I plan on riding him straight to the top. Fuck you. And if he does by some miracle make something decent of himself, well then everyone wins. Right? <laughs> These guys are the worst. Here it comes. Talent hack like you was hopeless. Hopeless! Hopeless! This is the same thing we saw in Shibuya! It's about writing what feels right to you. Just keep writing. Now, granted, I always have apparently have a talent, had a talent for writing, but I've always struggled with actually wanting to publish anything. I feel like, honestly, I need to do a lot of work in order to make what I write be good. Really good, like... Especially, actually good in a novel sense. I feel like my writing is better suited to dialogue in video games and dialogue in general, and writing for other media. Mostly because I, I love games and other media, but mostly games, and I really want to write for games. But I also feel like writing for novels and writing just regular... I mean, writing just regular stories is what I'm doing right now as far as what I'm doing with my writing, other than some other things, but anyway. But, you know, it's... I do definitely feel this poor man, and also it's it's general, it's interesting because I feel talentless sometimes, but then I, I just... All I know is that sometimes I just really want to write things, and it's such an enjoyable act writing, so I just do it, you know what I mean? Anyway. And I just, you know, just doing that... And writing because you love it, and then figuring out how to make a living out of that. I think that's the key there. I'm still working on that, but I think that's the key. I feel like it is. And regardless of what people say about you, just keep doing it. And maybe prove them wrong, and if you don't, you still enjoy what you wrote. Like, the thing is, is I also made fun of Natsume's stuff. Because the game just kind of made it happen, and... You know, I have my own, like, story trope jokes and everything like that, right? And, like, you know, it's clearly bad, but he, you know, he was, he apparently was doing his best the whole time. Yeah. Fuck you for that, and please get out of this business. Be a fucking mafia person. Be a fucking Yakuza or whatever, that's a better line of work for you. Stop tainting... Stop tainting, you know, art for your fucking profit. This makes it not art anymore. It makes it, like, recycled bullcrap. Uh, 
And of course, the authors, you know, and also this could be applied to the music industry, you know, uh, the talented developers in these game companies, you know, etc. You know, money people always, not always, they tend to take what's good, but not always. And, um, you know, if you keep having heart and keep making what you love, and keep, if you have the opportunity, moving to people that would help facilitate you doing what you love, rather than their own profit, even if they do have something to gain from what you're making, then that is who you stick with. And I hope to find people like that as I continue working on how to make a living doing what I love. Including making these videos, but also writing, and also developing, being part of developing my own games in the future as well. Da da da, feels good, man. Heck, freaking you. You did it. The warden's down for the count. Let's be honest here. I'm probably going to just button mash as long as it's viable because I want to get through the story. I don't want to talk about that. And I also, you know, I'll be cerebral as much as I can and maybe, you know, I will definitely try different things as we go along <laughs> because sometimes I really just want to challenge myself. But like right now and a lot of other times I want to just keep getting through the story, you know what I mean? Whew. Well, I guess that does it. <sighs> We can get inside the birdcage now, right? Better get going then. Wait, but what was that we just saw? Seems Ango Natsume wasn't given that award on his own merit. Those editors just used him for his name. So, there was a secret behind that novel after all. But he's not a bad guy, is he? It sounded like he entered the competition a whole bunch of times. Mm. And just when he thought his hard work was paying off, he had to hear all that. It must have been devastating. Morgana hug. Those editors are horrible. And they knew his writing wasn't good enough, but they still gave him the prize just so they could make money. They're the ones to blame. It still doesn't justify what he's doing now. That's true. Nevertheless, I'm beginning to understand how he feels. Fox? Rising to fame atop stolen ideas, pulling at people's emotions with a fabricated story. Yep, Madarame. Even worse, robbing others of their free will, changing their hearts and wallowing in his own vanity. Madarame. These crimes are unforgivable. There's no denying that he's been a fool. And yet, in spite of all that, it doesn't change the fact that Natsume spent years giving it everything he had. Creative work is often a lonely endeavor. And battling against that loneliness is truly a challenge in and of itself. As if it wasn't hard enough, if you don't produce results, no one will even think twice about you. We might even begin to think that such dark and unfulfilling times are all that's in store. Had I taken one wrong step, I may very well have turned out to be just as hideous as he. Oof. Inari. It's thanks to your friendship that I didn't stray from the path. Aww. He, however, doesn't seem to have anyone. Natsume should know better than most that there's no meaning in superficial glory. Now he's turned his back on what he truly wants to write for the sake of spinning this infernal novel of lies. Someone needs to bring him back to his senses. You seem pretty motivated this time around, Inari. As one who's dedicated his life to art, I simply cannot condone his actions. Now, let us bring this to an end. We'll send the calling card, then wrest the Overlord from his throne. I love you, Yusuke. I love you so goddamn much. Hype, Durgan. Okay, all that's left is the calling card. Right. We need to make Natsume aware that we're coming to steal the desires. That should materialize them. We'll need to decide how we want to do it. What's the best way to make sure he gets the message? Hmm, I have no idea. I'll hand it to him in person. Huh, he probably remembers our faces, though. I doubt he'd take anything from us. Hmm, what do we do? Could be lost, maybe? I'll go take a look. I'll go too. Look 
to help my girlfriend hey. help this guy. What's wrong, kid? Zenkichi? Hello. You got separated from your mom. Don't worry. I got you. Is that Zenkichi? What? Ramso's already here? Hey, it's me. I got a kid who was separated from his mom here. Send someone over to look after him, would you? I'm over it. Huh? What do you mean it's not worth pup sex time? Quit screwing around. You call yourself an officer of the law. I love you, Zenkichi. See, he's sworn to help this kid, and he's getting pissed that they don't want to. For their bullshit reasons. I really like Zenkichi the more that I play this game. Or are you saying you'd abandon your own kid too? Is that it? A lost kid's no joke, you know. <laughs> and then he hey, literally wait, ran away. Where are you going? It's okay. I'm not gonna hurt you or anything. Uh Zen's such a good kid guy. Totally thinks he's a creep. Uh-huh. That kid sure made things difficult. He didn't have to run away like that, right? Right? You're not exactly cute and cuddly, Gramps. Honestly, I don't blame him. I don't like this. I don't like this scene. He earnestly tried to help this kid, and it's been turned into a laughing at his expense scene. I don't like that at all. Will you stop calling me Gramps? This is perfect timing, though, actually. Let's ask Zenkiji what he thinks. Sure. We're supposed to be working together anyway. We're all set to go inside Natsume's jail. There's just one thing left to do. Only problem is, we're not sure how to send our calling card. Calling card? Oh, you mean that thing you guys did with the screens in Shibuya? If you want my advice, you should avoid any high-profile stuff like that. The police aren't that stupid. Eventually you'll get caught. I know I'm supposed to help you and all, but I gotta draw the line of breaking the law. Hmm, so the adult's the voice of reason here. You really are a Gramps, you know that? <laughs> <sighs> You're pretty set on calling me that, aren't you? <laughs> yep, unfortunately. Whatever. My point is, go with something simpler. We need a way to guarantee that Natsume will read the calling card. Maybe if we knew where he was going to be, we could set something up before he arrived. In that case, I found just the event. Sophia being awesome, I love her. She's probably one of the best parts of this game, in my opinion, so far. Natsume is holding another book signing at the bookstore near the station. Natsume will most certainly be there. It starts as soon as the store opens at 10 a.m. Oh, that sounds doable. I bet it'd be easy to set up if we roll in at night. Hey, didn't you hear what I said? Breaking and entering's a crime, you know? Well, that's where you come in, Gramps. Huh? Yeah. It and got caught, they'd lock us up. They'd lock me up too! You saying you can't do it? <sighs> Some help the police turned out to be. Wasn't the deal that you'd cooperate with us? I thought adults kept their word. <sighs> you kids. All right, it's settled. I will go and prepare the calling card. Yeah, you got this, Yusuke. That goes for you too, Zenkichi. We'll leave the planning to you. You got this. Am I seriously going to go through with this? Listen to me. Natsumi will look at the calling card tomorrow morning and then we're going to finish this. You should prepare while you have time. Once we head in, there's no turning back. Yusuke's handmade calling card. It's time Natsumi got a visit from the fan of these. Heck ye, freeze. 